Hey folks, today we're gonna to put line on a spinning reel. Now, of the two types of traditional reels, bait casting and spinning, spinning I would say is a little more challenging because you have to deal with uh, line twists. And, and that can be a real pain uh, trying to fish with that. You know, you get out and you get wind knots, you know, and, and it's a reel, it can be really a, a pain when it comes to fishing. But if you get it spooled correctly on the spinning reel, you know, you, it's gonna be an enjoyable experience. I've known people over the years that, that have brought these in to have them professionally spooled, great. You know, that's, that's a great option, but you can do it yourself. You just have to follow the simple steps and procedures every single time and you can, you can spool your own reels. Now, but they also have plenty of products on the market. Take line off your, off your reel, Rapala makes them. They'll just zip, zip your line off of there. And they also have apparatuses and devices for, for spinning, getting your line on. So if you're, if you're into that, into, interested in that, those are definitely on the market. I'm gonna show you the simple process of just doing it here manually. And there's a couple of things. I, I have a cooler here. I have that full of water and, and we'll show you kind of the, the water technique, which actually works pretty good as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this reel on the rod. Brand new St. Croix rod. Brand new Daiwa spinning reel. You can't beat that. Oh man, that's amazing. So what I'm going to start with, you know, there's, there's obviously there's super line and there's monofilament or, or fluorocarbon. So um, traditionally, like I use a lot of super line and when, when I use super line, then I have a fluorocarbon leader and that's basically how I, I prefer to fish. That's about 90%. The other 10% would be to use mono. And I would say, although you do have, you know, your wind knot issues with um, your super line, for the most part, the, the real troublesome experience is gonna come with, you know, your fluorocarbon or your monofilament. So we're gonna go ahead and spool it up with, uh, with this monofilament. Now, the thing you wanna do like this, when you spool this stuff, um, you wanna make sure that line is coming off counterclockwise. So what you wanna do is lay that flat and just go through the, the first guide. You wanna open the bale. And then I'm gonna create a, a uni knot. So just basically take a, your tag end, create a loop, grab that, and you, this, there's a loop in your hand. Now you take the tag end and you just push it back towards your fingers, like this. And it creates another loop. And that's a matter of grabbing that tag end with your thumb and forefinger, and then just two, three or four times. Fine. And you pull on the tag end, and you've created the loop. You got yourself a Asu there, that's cool. And then I'm just gonna put the tag in now. What I like about this knot is it just allows you, once you, even if you're working on a big caster, you get that in there and then you can just pull it tight. Same with this, you get it, take your knot, put it over the reel, just pull it tight against the reel. Now the one thing I just do for consistency again, is I take a little piece of electrical tape. I wouldn't have to do this necessarily with mono or fluorocarbon but with superline 100 percent you have to do it you either have to add backing to your reel with a backing would be a mono uh, line and then uh, add a, a uni or blood knots to connect those you know people do that people still abide by the backing i do not abide by the backing on most reels unless i have a capacity problem or i'm using like real uh, thin superline like a one to, you know, really thin diameter. Then you, then I would do backing because it's just gonna get, it's gonna push that. There's not that stuff is so thin that you need backing to get the line to the top of the reel or top of the spool. I'm sorry. And so what I'm gonna do here is tape this. And you would want to use this just a small piece of electrical tape if you're just using super line. <clears throat> tape that, and it will prevent the that entire thing of line from spinning if you. If you don't tape it, you, you'll have your drag tight and the, the line will just spin. It, it becomes uh, non-functional. So I just do this on everything. I just take a piece and I stick that down in there. I got the piece of tape right there. So again, I'm gonna grab, and this is a, a, a good tip for just pra general practice. Oh, when you cast, you close the bale. And when you, when you go to cast, you obviously open the bale, just manually close that bale and that'll help with, with line twists. So, okay, here we're gonna get to spooling. Now we have this right here. So 
And I'm going to reach up. Now, see that drag was real loose. That's another thing. If you have your drag real loose, that'll create line twist while you're, while you're putting line on your reel. So get that drag tank down. Then you want to just use uh, medium tension up ahead. Just grab, grab your rod and put the, the line between your fingers. And you can start reeling that. Okay, now I, fl I flipped this reel over back and forth a couple times, and to get the it kind of the way the line goes on the spool, so you're gonna have to really monitor it what what the line's doing as it comes off the factory spool. Here's a cool tip: like um, I've I've got some of the lines spooled on here. A lot of people uh, will just throw their line, their spool line, right into a bucket of water or into a sink. Or into your, you could fill up your live well and fill up your live well. And putting that spool right in the water actually works pretty good. Yeah. And then again, I'm just pulling that off of there. And that, that actually works amazingly well when you get that, that line down in that water. It's really cool. That's working really good. Okay, I have enough lines. Do not overfill your spool. Again, to within an eighth of an inch of the top is maximum, maximum. You don't want to under, under spool either because because then the, the spool, as you make a cast, has resistance as the line comes off of here. So it doesn't want to, don't want to be too low, but too high. And as soon as you open your bale, that line is just going to explode off the reel. So it's just a mess. So right here, I open the bale. It's just hanging there. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so that is enough line on the reel. This thing is spooled. I would just take this. You know, I'm basically done for now. I would take this and and attach that clip the line and attach that to my handle. Now, a couple of things you might want to consider here. Uh, tips with one, once you get this line on here, and I've done this several times. This stuff, I talked to the guy at Blakemore probably, I don't know, 20 years ago, down at the big national sport fishing convention. He's like, he swears by this. We're not affiliated with, with Real Magic. We just had it sitting over here in the corner, and I'm like, that stuff actually works. So you'll spray this, take this, spray it on there. It's said to take, it has a lot of good attributes to it. Uh, I'm a little hesitant bit about spraying stuff on my mono, I guess, but it's, they said it works. I tried it back in the day and it does work. So uh, if you want to pick up a can of this, give it a whirl. I'm not kidding you. It does, does work pretty good. Uh, another option here, say you've been out fishing and your line has gotten twists in it. Whether you're, you know, however it happened that you were using a spinning lure that got some twists in it. When you get home or get on shore, one thing you do, I, uh, you can attach your, your end of your line to like a tree, your boat trailer, whatever. Back up, and this really works well with a mono or super, uh, or a fluorocarbon. You back, back up, back a lot of the line, a fishable line off of there, engage, um, Engage the reel, and then you you just pull on it like this. And you you give that like three stretches, and then grab the line again, just like you were spooling, and reel that line back in, and that'll help with that that memory and just kind of a daily maintenance thing. Another thing, if you're on the water and your line's all spooled, and you move into the next spot, let out as much line as you want. Again, add tension to the reel as you're reeling that line in. And, and that'll save the day too. And until you have to, you know, put new line on someday, those are ways of maintenance on keeping a spinning reel and line functioning properly. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Angling Edge. If you like this video and, and the videos, we're gonna have all kinds of how-to videos. Uh, we post our television shows on this channel. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.